Good afternoon everybody, Colin here with Apple Reviews and today I'm going to be showing you around an iMac G5 motherboard. Um, this motherboard is actually broken right now, I have some parts in order to fix it. Um, I have three of these boards, one f there are two from 20 inch models and a 17 inch model. Um, they're not interchangeable, the RAM goes indifferent and it's a little bit smaller on the other one. Um, but this one actually has a bad, uh, the actual graphics chip is not bad on it just the uh the solder on the graphics chip is bad and um what you have to do to fix that is you have to um if it'll focus you have to um take the actual chip off and there's a bunch of little solder balls under it and you have to get a template and get the chip uh you have to put the balls on the chip and solder them to the chip then put the chip back down and uh heated up enough to melt the solder underneath and reattach it to the board. Um, I found a whole new chip on eBay for uh, $15, so I'm going to put that on and see if we can get it to work. Um, I had one of these same boards with the um, with um, lines down the screen. I heated this up with my hot air gun that I used to fix computers and stuff like that, and it did, um, it did come back to life. There's no lines on the screen anymore. That one's working fine now. Um, that's called reflowing. Uh, when you take it off and you put new solder balls on, that's called reballing. Um, but this chip right here is the, um, it is an ATI. I don't know if it's going to focus that close, and it's really small. Um, but it is an, it's an ATI, um, 9600. Let's see if we can get it to focus any. And there you go. Um. ATI, ATI Radeon 9600, um, there's the sticker RAM right there, um, if we flip this over, right here, the original problem I thought it had was bad capacitors, um, cause the three capacitors, they're on the other side of the board, but this is where I soldered them right here, I thought they were actually bad, and, um, so I actually went ahead and changed them, which are these three right here, that's why the solder's different, um, these three right here. But now I actually found out the video is the graphics card. There's your processor. Um, so if you have an iMac G5 or one like it that has, um, it's not getting any video, or your little diagnostic LEDs right here. Um, there's four of them. Four, if the number four lights up red, that means it's overheating. Uh, if it's off, it means you're good. One means it has power from the power supply. Two means the power from the power supply is good and it's managing the power. You only see light number two when the computer's on. Uh, light number one will be on whenever it's plugged in. And then three means a video signal is being generated. Um, so if you don't see number three, try, check all your capacitors and try um, heating this up with a hot air gun at about, um, I did 380 degrees Celsius and that seemed to bring it back to life, um, especially the other one. This one just is too damaged um, to do that with, so I just got to replace the whole thing. Um, there's all the ports that stick out the back of the computer. The board goes this way when it's inside the computer. Um, your heat sink will, there's a spot right here to blow out the bottom of the computer. Um, but that's pretty much how to fix an iMac G5 with, um, with the graphical issue. Um, see your capacitors, make sure all the, all of them are flat on the top. Um, and stuff like that. You can see how these are all perfectly flat. All the tops are flat and not bulged or anything like that. Um, I'm not going to show you how to solder. I'm not going to do any of that. Um, you can look up a video on how to reball a chip or reflow a chip. Um, but that's just specific iMac G5. Um, how to do that stuff. What you know. What what is what everything is. I mean, and stuff like that. But you can look up a general video on how to solder or how to reball um, or reflow chips, and you can do that. You can apply that to this board. So it's been Colin with Apple Reviews, a short tutorial on, on what could be wrong with your motherboard. If you have a G5, um, if you need some help locating something on the motherboard, um, this is an iMac G5 motherboard. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.